as long as humans have existed, LGBTQ plus people have been around. From the archaeological discovery of two males from ancient Egypt called Nyanknum and Khnumhotep, believed to have been in a gay relationship, to the Greek heroes we have grown up hearing about, such as Achilles and Patroclus. LGBTQ plus stories, lives and communities have always existed. The celebration of Pride as we know it today is very different to how Pride began. The first Pride began as a protest in New York in 1969. Queer people were tired of the discrimination and violence they experienced from police forces who violently raided their beloved gay bar, the Stonewall Inn. LGBTQ plus people and their allies were led by trans and gender non-conforming activists in protest against this discrimination, and so the Stonewall Riots began. This fight for the right to be yourself in New York was not an easy battle, but it catalyzed other queer rights movements around the world. The Irish LGBTQ plus rights movement began in a similar way. Sadly, an Irish movement of this kind began after the violent attack and homophobic murder of a gay man named Declan Flynn in Fairview Park in 1982. This devastated the LGBTQ plus community and their allies, and it started a protest in Dublin in 1983 calling for action. This protest became the first major pride, and it still takes place in Dublin every year. Ireland during this time was very different to what we know today. It was illegal to be gay and LGBTQ plus people were not accepted in society. An openly gay senator called David Norris began a long series of legal battles which led to the decriminalization of homosexuality in 1993. During the same time, Lydia Foy, a transgender woman, fought for her right for her gender to be legally recognized. After a long legal battle, which lasted over 20 years, she was legally allowed to change her gender marker, and so the Gender Recognition Act was passed in 2015. In the same year, Ireland became the first country in the world to legalise marriage equality through popular vote, and these changes were monumental. Ireland is now legally a much safer place for LGBTQ plus people than it used to be. However, the fight is still not over. LGBTQ plus people still experience inequality, discrimination and violence in Ireland. There is still a lot of work to be done to change attitudes and make Ireland a safer and more accepting place. And we all have a responsibility to keep making these positive changes. It starts with each one of you and you can get involved even if you are not LGBTQ plus. You can be an ally to the community and continue to make Ireland a better place for everyone.